Recognizing the member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. On, on May 20th, uh, Mr. Chair, we held a forum in my constituency where uh, patients and supporters of the Pine Free Clinic and Pacific Spirit Clinic got together. Uh, we sent a letter to the Minister of Health. Uh, we sent a letter to Vancouver Coastal Health inviting them to come to hear from people firsthand and to share their perspectives on uh, what the Minister describes as this transfer. None of them showed up. Uh, so my question is pretty straightforward. Uh, why did they not come? Was it a budgetary issue? Or is it simply that they didn't even bother uh, caring enough to show up to explain this decision to the people affected? Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Honourable Chair. Uh, Vancouver Coastal uh, undertook uh, a study looking at the demographics, looking at the population, looking at all the uh, clinics that uh, uh, are operating under the primary health care model in that area and, uh, and determined that a redesign would increase the service to that high needs population. Uh, they uh, worked with the um, uh, with the staff and the physicians at the, uh, at the impacted sites. They held meetings with the majority of the sites to discuss, to discuss the future uh, vision of the service. And uh, the, uh, the service will be changed over the next six to eight months. So that will smooth the transition and help people understand the change in uh, service that will be uh, happening to support uh, that population. Uh, so um, I know the member has uh, has uh, had uh, uh, opportunity to comment, and David Hall, uh, who is the medical director uh, for primary care uh, in Vancouver Coastal, has has refuted uh, the member's comments. Uh, I won't get into the, the details of that, uh, but um, a, a, an event organized by the opposition is uh, is certainly it's their opportunity and their their. Uh, um, prerogative to do that, uh, Honourable Chair. It's certainly not a responsibility for uh, people uh, to attend. Uh, Vancouver Coastal is doing that work in the community. We are uh, monitoring the situation and ensuring that the uh, patients are transferred uh, and, and assisted in ensuring that they are connected to uh, their physician or a physician that's available to them and that they are aware of the increased services at Ravensong, going from eight hours a day to 12 hours a day, five days a week to seven days a week. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This minister knows very well that Vancouver Coastal Health is only communicating with our community through their website, through postings on their website, ignoring community meetings. The minister shows up here, says there are six and a half additional FTEs. He doesn't even know who they are. He says, don't worry, there'll be just as many services at Ravensong, but he can't even tell us who's been hired at Ravensong to replace the four clinics that are closing. It is absolutely outrageous, the lack of communication around this. He talks about the remarkable work that Vancouver Coastal Health has done looking into the impact of this, but the third party expert that they hired, Dr. Uh, Gary Mazowick, the head of family and community medicine at Providence Healthcare said consolidation will reduce access to primary care for many high needs patients and will eliminate the ability to customize individual clinics. He said in light of these policy considerations, the optics of undertaking member, significant member, change. You are not allowed to use your laptop when you are uh, making your presentation. Oh, well, well th thank you, honorable chair. The, the, I don't need to read this to the minister because the minister knows very well uh, this report. He knows very well the conclusions of this esteemed expert who looked at coastal health. Coastal health won't even show up in our community and defend their decision to the people affected by this. The minister won't show up to our community and defend the decision to the people affected by this. And the only reason we even found out about this is because layoff notices went out to the staff and it leaked and coastal health had to put something up on their website. Can the minister assure us that he's put some kind of budget in here? to uh, enable Coastal Health or his ministry to come out to communities and explain to the people affected by this instead of the slipshod garbage method that they've taken to date. Minister. Thank you very much, Honourable Chair. And uh, uh, the uh, Vancouver Coastal has uh, assured us that they will uh, in continue to engage with the community to uh, uh, help them understand the changes. Uh, and in fact, clients will be uh, reviewed individually to minimize any chance that a complex client 
uh, is inadvertently affected uh, by this. So uh, we will, uh, through Coastal Health, Vancouver Coastal Health, reach out to those clients and ensure that they are aware of the changes, they are uh, aware of uh, where their primary care uh, uh, access will be. Very vulnerable clients will in fact have a transition care plan created. So there's a lot of work and continued engagement with those people that are affected uh, for, by this, this change, which as I mentioned, Honourable Chair, will result in increased services to the most vulnerable people in our society. You finished? We've, uh, we've said that we would get a breakdown of the FTEs, uh, Honourable Chair. Perhaps the member is, uh, perhaps uh, the member excuse is- Excuse me, under... Mr. Minister. Yes. I would Chair. remind the members that the minister has the floor, and when the minister has the floor, he is to be speaking. Thank you. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Honourable Chair. So the, um, this will be transitioned over the next six to eight months, uh, and all of the vulnerable uh, clients will be transitioned uh, with a, a care plan and there will be continued community engagement so that the community understands the changes and uh, that those people uh, that are most vulnerable uh, have knowledge that now they can access those needed services seven days a week, 12 hours a day. That will result in better service, uh, Honourable Chair.